What's going on guys, Taha Photo. Listen, today we are on a budget setup. I got my Ektar H35 half frame camera that I did a video on a couple weeks ago. But today, the film I'm gonna be using is the Kentmir Pan 100 black and white. So it's a budget setup and I thought that's important obviously with the recession and inflation and film usually being outrageous, the prices. This is a good way to save some money and still get the shots that you want trying some different things. So let's do that now. Let me know what you think of these shots. Let's go. So I'm halfway through, or more than halfway through, my roll of 72 on this half frame. It's black and white, and it's, of course it's film, so I'm not gonna be able to see anything in real time to see how I'm doing, if I'm making any mistakes. But this is really a test roll. I talked about it in the last video. Being too timid and not being creative enough with this half frame camera, that is the whole point. 72 image, it doesn't mean you be reckless, but it does mean that you try things that you probably wouldn't have normally. And I think that's where the growth is. I think that's when you can start to really make images that you're proud of because you're not thinking too much, you're just creating. And over time, you just get better at finding compositions that you're, you're into, that you like. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving. I'm gonna change location, see if I can find some other interesting things to document and uh, then we'll wrap it up in a little bit. All right, let's go. wrapped up this this roll of film Kent Mir one pan 100 I feel like I'm gonna shoot some stuff for my chasing basket project that I continue to do over time but also like the light is so beautiful at this time of year look at all these birds here these are the shots shout out to the kickback connect shout out to the kickback initiative this court looks beautiful new fencing everything I'm missing the shot so I got to get to it but uh, I love the light on this rim so hopefully we'll get some of that and then I get a few shots of the birds and I'll probably be done my half frame roll of 72 images. So uh, let's get to work. That's 
that's it. I took about 10 snaps here to finish off my um, half frame roll, but well worth it. I feel like I got one or two. I don't know. It felt good though. It's hard to get to 72, that's for sure. But I felt less pressure and more creativity just because I was trying instead of worrying about all my compositions. And I think because of that, I got some great shots. So now let's go get it uh, developed. I hope you enjoyed some of those photos. I thought I had a pretty good time and I was pretty creative. Uh, man, I was happy to finish it off here playing ball, uh, playing ball on the ball court. So as you can see all those birds there, you, you just get FOMO. You're shooting, everything's perfect, but then you're like, could have got that but man that's it 72 frames all done and uh let's go get this let's get this roll developed all right so i'm back in the office i got the film developed and scanned and now i can kind of just break down overall my experience with this camera this film stock and this total setup okay so my overall initial thoughts on the kentmere pan 100 are pretty good uh, you'll see some images the focus was uh, a budget camera and a budget film stock so that when I go out, I can experiment and not worry about breaking the bank. Now, granted, it is a half frame camera, so my expectation level of super sharp, high quality images is not there. This is about experimentation and not limiting my experimentation because um, the film cost me $17 a roll or something crazy like that. To shoot 72 images, I felt less pressure to perform to myself. That's the number one reason why I tried the Kentmere Pan 100. I already knew that Ilford made this film stock, so I thought, okay, this is a pretty good foundation for me to trust this film stock. So Kentmere Pan 100 totally did its job in my opinion. It's a budget film stock and it delivered exactly what it said it would do. It has a light grain to it, but it's still a beautiful overall look. As long as you have good light, when you use this camera. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna talk about is the Kodak Ektar H35 half frame camera. Now, if you watched the video a few weeks ago, I did on this exact camera, the H35, but it was in color. So this time, the only difference is I'm using black and white. I tried to shoot on a super sunny day. Everything worked as planned. The more light I gave my scene, my subject, the better the results. Granted, I did find there was a lot of flaring. I wasn't even, I was shooting with the light. Yeah, I was shooting with the sun and still got like tons of flares, but I didn't see anything coming into the lens. So I don't know, what's your experience? If you've experienced this with this camera, let me know, but it seems like there is some flaring. So be aware of that when you're shooting into the light with the light. Now, with that said, I also made a couple of pretty cool images with the flare in it and I just kept it. It almost looked like a double exposure. So I was like, okay, cool, this is, this is totally fine. Regardless, it did help me get more creative. And finally, I wanna talk about my overall experience with this budget film camera setup. I feel like it did exactly as advertised. Cheap camera, cheap film stock, good results because I focused in on being creative. I focused in on shooting with good light. All the things that are going to help me on a budget get the most out of the camera or the, the film stock that I'm using. I really like the H35. It has its limitations. So don't, don't think that I'm saying it's perfect, but for 50 bucks, it's done the job twice now and I have some images that I can actually turn into a project. That's another thing that's pretty cool about this. It gives you ideas. It's kind of like laying out all your images in this diptych format where you're seeing one image right beside the other and you start to lay it out like a book. So there's some great ideas that have come from using this camera. So anyways, tell me what you think about my photos. Let me know in the comments below, but also if you do have some budget film stock ideas that will help others, including myself, please put it in the comments below. The last few videos you guys have been really helpful that way. There's a bunch of cheaper film stocks that you guys swear by, so that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna keep experimenting and see what I land on. So when I do a project, I know that I've tried everything consistently. This film stock does A, B, and C. Thank you again for always joining me on this uh, little journey through photography, film photography, street photography, just photography in general. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next video, stay creative and believe in yourself.